Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I have some happy mail. This is from Angela Porch. Her and her daughter run a shop out of Etsy, which is called AT Diamond Pen. I will be linking that shop down below in the description. It's always so nice um, to support our small businesses over on Etsy. Look at how cute this box is. I'm definitely keeping this. Um, number of things I can use this box for. Uh, one thing I thought of right off the bat is when you're kitting up a large diamond painting, all of your packages of drills don't fit in your containers. And I thought, oh, this would be so nice and handy to put those extra packet of drills in. Look at all these goodies. Now, one of the main things she wanted me to show um, are a couple of their diamond painting pens. So if you're just starting out maybe with diamond painting and you're just using the standard pink uh, drill pens, you might want to check out their shop. They have both acrylic and wood diamond painting pens. The wood is very, very light. So if you don't want to have something too heavy, the acrylic is not bad either. But Let's take a look at this. Isn't that pretty? I love it. So we do have a metal inside here to put a single placer. And then she did include a multi-placer. Now I have some metal single placers that I want to put in here. And then these do come out if you want to put a larger multi-placer. Now these are the nice skinny multi-placers. There are also some wider multi-placers I don't care for. These are much, much easier to use. And this is a four placer. So fits very nicely in there. Like I said, oh, I just love it. You know me and my purples and pinks. <laughs> The other one that she sent me is this wood one. Look at that pretty teal. And then the pink stripe through it. Oh, just love it. Now this is a skinnier one, which I like. To me, the skinny ones are very comfortable to hold. This one is not too big either. And I like the shape of this. So this is very comfortable also. So depending on, they have much larger type of diamond painting pens um, from some other companies too. I don't like the real big, thick, thick, chunky ones. I do prefer the skinnier ones, but oh, aren't they pretty? Yeah, so thank you very much. It is Angela and her daughter, if I didn't say that, that run this Etsy shop. Now there's a number of other things that she sent me. So sweet of her. She sent me a bunch of, it's called shaped masking tape, but essentially it is washi tape. I don't know if you can see that in here. Cute kitties. They're just adorable. And then this pretty pattern. Masking, masking tape, washi tape. Now you ask, what do you use washi tape for in diamond painting? There's a couple of uh, things you can use this for. A lot of times around the outside edges of the diamond painting, the glue, whether it's poured glue or double-sided adhesive glue, kind of goes a little bit outside of your drilling area so it stays sticky. Um, can pick up dust and pet hair, fuzzies maybe from your clothes. So a lot of times we will take this washi tape and put that around the border to cover up that sticky edge that is beyond your drilling area. Or if it is double or, uh, poured glue, you have that clear covering. Uh, some people like to section off their diamond paintings with the washi tape and then with this, um, what do you call it? 
not ceramic i think it is called a ceramic cutting knife it just has a very small small blade so you don't cut through your canvas but then you cut each section along the washi tape and you kind of peel that back and you do that section at a time i myself don't do that i use cover sheets um but yeah i do use washi tape a lot to put around the borders of my diamond painting and then she sent another one with all these pretty different colored leaves and hearts and so pretty okay they do also make cover minders so cover minders also are used for if you do section off your diamond painting or even if you don't section it off and you just peel back that clear plastic covering cover minders are used to put um this one has two of them on you will have a magnet on the top of the cover minder and then a magnet that goes underneath so you put this underneath your uh, diamond painting and then this on top of the folded back clear plastic and so it sticks together holds your clear plastic back what I use these for because I use the cover sheets when I am done with a section um, a lot of times that clear or that uh, cover sheet won't stick on there anymore because you have so many drills I use this to hold my cover sheet on in place when I'm done with a diamond painting session so dust and stuff doesn't get on there so again I put this part over the top of my cover sheet this underneath my diamond painting and it holds my cover sheet in place so these are the ones that she sent me isn't that pretty she knows I love purple <laughs> I thought that was so pretty and then this nice sparkly purple heart I love them I love them then she also sent this cover minder that gorgeous so we have this butterfly and stuff on this mirror again has the magnet on the back and these are all very strong magnets and then it sticks like that another really pretty cover minder then she also included this this is also magnetic and these type of trays and i like the fact that this one's a little bit bigger and deeper um, this is used for your what we call junk drills <laughs> drills that as you are putting your you know doing your diamond painting you're going to have some imperfections in some of your drills or diamonds um, whether it be a little misshapen um, some of them may have a little tab on the side uh, things like that just some of the drills you really don't want to use um, you put them in your little trash bin and because it's magnetic you can keep it right on your diamond painting so it's nice and handy if you're drilling right here you take it and you put it right in here so I am definitely going to be using this especially on my large diamond painting upstairs again purple thank you Angela <laughs> then she also included a bag full of these gorgeous gems let's take a look at these um she does have the single placers and i think i misplaced the other one the standard single placers that fit in the end like i said i don't know if she had them in here and they fell out i don't think so because they do fit in quite snug um and i'm not sure if I accidentally misplaced the other one um, but yeah she does include the single placer too look at these pretty gems though they're just 
Oh, they're so pretty. Love them. So we have a couple of diamonds here. And then all oh, these sparkly. They have the diamond on the bottom. Not quite sure what I'm going to use with these yet. But I'm going to find something because they're just gorgeous. Somehow decorate something with these. I love them. So they're all faceted on the top. So yeah, we have all these pretty diamonds. And a cute little bag. So let's get these back in here. Yeah, right. We'll just put a couple in at a time. So yeah, she really spoiled me. So thank you so much to I lost one to Angela and her daughter for providing all of this fun stuff to me. I am getting to be a diamond painting col pen collector and cover minder. I never thought I would be, but yeah, I kind of jumped on that bandwagon. <laughs> and washi tapes too. I have a lot of different washi tapes, so now I can add to my collection. And these are nice because they have more uh, washi tape on the roll sometimes. Some of those that you get, like, you know, 15 in a pack and stuff, yeah, they look very pretty. And you have a whole bunch of different kinds, but there's not much on them. Um, so you can't even hardly get around a large diamond painting. Um, but these look like they have more on them, so... Very excited. All my beautiful cover minders. So again, thank you so much, Angela. It was so, so nice of you. And again, I am going to link their Etsy shop down below in the description. Like I said, it is called AT Diamond Pen. If you would like to go over and check them out. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed me unboxing my happy mail. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.